Hello, this is Rich Fultz, the Associate Director with the Only Association of School Administrators, and I'm doing a podcast tutorial on how to use an application on the iPad to record classroom observations, either a simple classroom walkthrough or maybe an informal observation, or you could even use this to do a formal observation for teacher evaluation purposes. So on the screen you can see in front of you is the screen of my iPad. And to get this application, you have to go to the App Store. So I'm going to press on the App Store. And when you go into the Apps Store, uh, you would search for Form Tools. And the app is going to be called Form Tools PDF. And you can see that for my iPad, the Form Tools PDF is already installed. Yours is going to say free, like in this ebook for you next to the Form Tools on your screen. You'll click on the free, and then you will click on install, and then you will have to enter your iTunes password. But again, this is free to you to use. So after you have downloaded it to your iPad, It'll be on your iPad, and I have placed this on my first page of my apps on my iPad, and it's called Form Tools. So if you click on Form Tools on your iPad, um, what, what what's going to come up first, in your case, will be a Home uh, button, and there will be nothing that is uh, at the Home button for you to look at because you probably formerly haven't used it. So your iPad is not going to show any of these files that in my particular case that I have on my iPad right now. Instead yours is going to be uh, vacant. So the first thing you're going to need to do is get a file and I'm putting up a file that I call the volts T-square observation method. And you have to, uh, you can make this file in Word or in Pages. And this is a file that we're going to want to make into our form tool. So this is an example of a form that you might want to use if you were doing observation of a teacher in a classroom. So you're going to have this form, you're going to make this form uh, on your, again, Word or Pages, and then you're going to save it as a PDF. So you're going to save it as, as a PDF, and in this case, I'm going to save it as a uh, PDF, and I'm going to save it to my desktop. So it's just going to be called Volts T-Square Observation Method, and I'm going to save it as a PDF to my desktop. So now if we go back to my desktop, uh, we will find that I have in fact saved that file as Volts T-Square. So you can see I have saved this file on my desktop. The next thing you need to do is email this file to yourself. So you, whatever your email system is, you'll email it to yourself. After you have emailed this file to yourself, you're going to go down to Mail, and you're going to click on Mail, and then you're going to go to find this file that you just emailed to yourself. So you can see I've emailed this Volts T-Square observation method to myself. I'm opening it up on my iPad, so I'm just clicking on that PDF, and you can see that it has opened now as a PDF. So if I touch back on the document on my iPad, you'll see in the upper right hand corner, there's a box that I've just opened and it says open in iBooks, open in dot 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 or print. Well, if I click on the open in dot dot dot, it gives me a variety of applications that I could use to open this PDF. So for this case, I'm gonna open it in form tools. So I'm going to click Form Tools, and then that will bring this PDF 
into my form tools. And as you can see on the screen then, we have this volts T-square observation method and it is in our form tool. Okay, now again, I'm on my iPad and in the lower right hand corner, there looks like a, a gear with like a piece of paper behind it. And if I choose on that, up will pop a box that says edit forms or quick fill form. Okay, we're going to want to edit this form and that's what's checked. So that is correct. So the next thing I'm going to go up to is the date where the date has the red line into it. I'm going to click on that or touch my finger to the pad and it says create new and I say yes create new and I want to create a text box. So what you could see happens here is a text box opens up on my iPad and then I can make this text box then fit the date and you can see now uh, at least on mine that I'm making it's not showing up very well on the screen but it has put in a box there so I can take that box and I'm going to click back in it again and you can see that I have uh, clicked in into it and when I click in this text box, um, I can then copy this text box. And I'm going to go over here where the name is. I'm going to paste that the same size text box I just made for the date. Maybe I'm going to make this one just a little bit longer. But I am now put it in the evaluator's name. Now I'll go touch above the teacher's name paste another box in. I'm making it a little bit smaller so that it fits the space there. And I go over to class taught. I'm going to paste another one into cl class taught and then make sure that it fits within the box. Now, after I click on the iPad, the box goes away, but you can see it as I'm making that. Okay, so that's entering text in those various places. Okay, now I'm going to go where it says begin lesson promptly and I'm going to create new and this time I'm going to create a check box. So you can see I have another box that's available to me. So I'm going to want to move this box around so that it's going to fit within just one of these spaces. So you can see I have to make it fairly small to fit within this space and I can even make my, uh, by pinching and expanding, I can make my box so I can see it. So let's say I'm going to move it like right into the, somewhat of the middle of the box that I want. And that looks like just about right. Now I click outside of that and I can now click back into it and I'm going to want to get a uh, copy of this box so that I can use it again. So you just continue doing this down all of these check boxes. So as I continue, I now want to uh, make a text box for the time, the observation, evidence statement, as well as the domain component. So again, under time, I'm going to click in there, create new, I'm going to create a text box that fits the size of this text box that we have here. Then I'm going to go over here to the observation. I'm going to create new. I'm going to do a text box. And again, I'm going to fit it to the size that I need to fill in the box in its entirety. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here in domain component. I'm going to create a new text box and I'm going to get the box to fit the domain component. And then I would just continue on down through these and make the uh, text boxes for each one of these. So let's say that I have completed all of that. So now what do, what do I have? Well, what I have now is I have a 
form that I can use as I'm bringing my iPad, or you could even do this on your iPhone into a classroom. But this time, um, I would want to uh, quick fill the form. So um, the first thing I would do probably is to make a copy of this form so that I have it for future uses. So what I'm going to do to make sure that I always have a form is that I'm going to email this form. So I'm up in the upper uh, left-hand corner of my iPad. I'm going to export PDF, export this form entry, and then I'm going to export it uh, to myself. So I'm just going to put my email address in here so I can export this to myself. I'm going to call it the form for volts T square. And then I'm going to send this and then it will it will get into my my inbox later on if I go to my mail and sometimes this takes a little while but you could see it did come uh, volts form for T square and if I click on that I would open that up okay now so I'm in the form itself now if I click inside the form, I can start putting in some of the information. So now I'm back at the home page, and I'm going to use this volts t square observation method, which is our second one. And as I click on this, you can see as I click the date, now I can enter the date of today, the date that I'd be doing doing the observation itself. And then I could go to, over to evaluator's name and I could put in my own name. And then under teacher name, I would put in the name of the teacher. And under class taught, uh, I could put up the class that the teacher is teaching. So now I can get into my actual form itself. And I can say, uh, let's say I'm observing the teacher. So... I'm going to be uh, scripting using some type of time and um, students pick up worksheet at desk as they come in the classroom. And later on, then I would be, I would rate this domain. Okay, but then as I'm in this particular lesson, I could say, yeah, you know what, that teacher began the lesson promptly. They reviewed previous materials. They stated the student-centered objective in a, uh, the lesson objective in a student-centered way. They measured the previous student knowledge and they had appropriate materials presented. And you would continue doing this for um, all the pages of your uh, observation form and all of these would be filled out then similar to the way we did the first page. So now I've made a form where I have actually uh, observed a teacher and then I can, what I can do then is I can take this form and I can export this form as a PDF to the uh, teacher itself and then the teacher would have a copy of it as well as I could export it to myself. I could export it to myself as well. So then we're going to have a copy of the form. You will have a copy of the form as well as the teacher will have a copy of the form. So to go back and review what we've done today, we've gone to the App Store, we've purchased the app Form Tools, then we made a uh, Word document, we saved the Word document that we saved, uh, the Word document happened to be uh, a Word document in this case that we called um, Volts T Square. And with that Word document, with that Word document, we saved this Word document as a PDF. And then we put it in a place like our desktop or something where we could find it at a later point. We then went to our desktop, 
we have the, the file and we went to our email system. We emailed that volts t square document, in this case, to ourselves. And then we went back to our iPad. We opened up our own email. We found the email. We opened the PDF document. And up in the right-hand corner, we opened it in Form Tools. And then after we got it into Form Tools, then we went down to the lower right-hand side. We edit the form. We clicked within where we wanted to enter either text boxes or um, check boxes. We made the form fit our line. And then we, in the, in the first time we did this, we went and copied this. And then we pasted it in another, to make it kind of uniform, in another spot. And we continued doing this in the various spots where we were entering the potential of entering data. And that's what we found just a few minutes ago when we were entering data. That's how we got it in there. So I hope you will find this uh, podcast useful to you in using the Form Tools, which is an app that you can find at the App Store. Thank you for uh, watching this podcast, and I hope you find it useful.